Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. This is TK Coleman. and you're listening to TK's Two Cents. And today, I'm going to talk with you about my favorite topic in the world, freedom. Let's start off with tweet number one. Nothing matters more than freedom. Here we go. There is no such thing as I love you, but I hate your freedom. God made me free. So if you hate my freedom, you hate me. I don't know how to break it to you, folks. But love, by its very nature, always presents itself in a form that respects the other party's right to reject it. You can't call it love if you have to use coercion to advance it. Love does not force itself upon another person against their own free will. So if someone is saying to you, hey, I'm going to do this for your own good. I'm doing this because I love you. But in order to love you, they've got to dishonor your capacity to choose, your right to de decide for yourself who you will be and what you will do. It's not love. It's something else disguising itself as love. The number one enemy of freedom is the desire to help you to do good for you and to you against your own will. You see, you can't say that you respect freedom unless you expect another person's right to freely choose something that you don't want them to choose. The reason that we have to fight for freedom, the reason that we have to constantly remind ourselves and other people not to give it away is because freedom makes us uncomfortable by its very nature Freedom makes us uncomfortable because if we're truly free, then that means we have the right to disagree. That means we have the right to do things that make other people roll their eyes at us. It means that we have the right to live our lives in a way that might appear to be mistaken, in a way that might actually be mistaken. And love is what says, hey, I'll give you my advice. I'll give you my opinion. I'll give you my strong recommendation. I'll share with you my experiences. I will give you warnings because I can do all of those things in the name of love, but I have to let you be the one to choose. You know, this question of free will has posed a theological conundrum for Christianity and all of the religions that believe in the existence of a creator that endowed us with free will. Why would God allow us the capacity to choose even if that means we reject him, even if that means we bring evil into the world. And the answer isn't simple. And it may not always be emotionally satisfying, but the reason is this, because God is love and love cannot be what it is unless it gives you the capacity to say, no, I refuse your offer. Could God have created a world of robots that just automatically carry out his instructions and do the right thing? Perhaps, but such a world would be one where love was not possible. And God, who being love in his essence, creating a world that reflects his nature, chooses a world where we do good by freedom, not by force. But to do good by freedom means that you have to have the capacity to do bad. And that's the risk that comes with freedom. And that's why so many people hate freedom. That's why so many people want to take it from you. That's why so many people want to make you afraid of it because they don't like a world where they don't get to have control. But in order to have a creative world, in order to have a beautiful world, in order to have a flourishing world where genuine art and creativity and cooperation is possible, you have to have a world where people are free. And you're not free unless you can reject me. Let's go to tweet number two. The desire to exercise mastery over our own impulses is divine. The desire to exercise mastery over other human beings is demonic. Now, I don't know where you stand on these issues, but I believe that's literally true. I'm not even thinking about that metaphorically. I believe that's literally true. I believe there is nothing holier, nothing more sacred than for a person to seek after self-mastery and self-harmony, than for a person to say, I am going to exercise the discipline necessary to liberate myself from being under the control of my impulses 
and I will allow my impulses and my appetites and my cravings to be brought under the control of my highest self. I will make decisions that are intelligent, that are in alignment with my goals. I believe when we do that, we are living a holy, sacred life. We are living a good life. We make ourselves better and we make other people around us better. And I believe that when we feel the need to dominate other people, not in the sense of metaphorically dominating them by being superior to them in our skill at a competitive sport, but when we seek to dominate other human beings by being their master, by exercising coercive authority over them, I believe that is a diabolical impulse. But if you don't take it literally, you can take it metaphorically. Think about it for a minute. Who is more trustworthy? Who is more noble? Who is more loving than the person who says, you know, I don't need to control you. I need to control me. I'm more worried about my own flaws, my own failings, my own sins, my own imperfections than I am about yours. And I can't do anything to help you if my life is out of harmony with itself. I can't do anything to make you better if I'm ignoring the responsibilities that I have to myself to make me better. I'm gonna sweep around my own front door first before I try to tell you how you ought to sweep around yours. Who is more noble than that person? And on the other hand, who is more diabolical than the person that says, oh, we're not gonna talk about my faults. No, we're not gonna talk about my imperfections. We're not gonna talk about all the areas of my life that are defined by chaos and disorder and a complete lack of self-control and lack of self-ownership. I just want to talk about how I can acquire the power to tell you what to do because I don't like the way you do it, to tell you what to say because I don't like the way you say it. The desire to exercise mastery over other human beings is truly the essence of what it means to be demonic. As you think about the people that you do business with, as you think about the people that you choose to befriend, ask yourself, are these people more passionate about controlling me than themselves? And if the answer to that question is yes, I encourage you to find new friends, find new partners, find new people to do business with, find new people to trust, find new people to vote for. Vote for the people who vote for your potential and your freedom above all else. And the people who do that are the people that are gonna be more concerned about their own personal responsibility than about the power they can acquire to make you do whatever it is they want to do. When you live that way, you not only surround yourself with people that are gonna be better for you in the long haul, but when you practice this for yourself, it truly does lead to a fulfilling life because there's no mastery like self-mastery. It's what we were created for, my friends. We were all created to be brilliant and beautiful in our own unique way. We were all created to cultivate our gifts to understand our potential and to give creative expression to that in a way that makes us unique and in a way that makes the world better. That is true dominion. That is true mastery. Anything else is a counterfeit. Anything else is a perversion. Don't trust the perversion. Trust the real thing. Self-mastery is the real thing. Self-ownership is the real thing, not ownership of or mastery of another. Hey, y'all. That's TK's Two Cents for today. That's what I have to say about freedom and force. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Please hit the like button or the subscribe button, not or, and. If you're watching on YouTube and if you're listening on the podcast, please subscribe as well and give this the rating that you think it deserves. And feel free to tell another family member or friend about these riffs if you think they benefit from it. Thanks for listening, everybody. Live freely. No other way to live.